Hello everybody and welcome to another how-to video from Mr. Gonzalez. All right, so today I want to go over uh, email and some really important things for you. So by now you should have gotten your uh, invitations to our Google Classrooms. So I already accepted my math. I'm going to accept my science by clicking on join. You want to join all your Google Classrooms. And if you get one in it with a code, you can join that uh, separately. So you got to read this message, especially for math and science. Really important that my assignments are going to go in Classcraft first. So if you see something in Google Classroom, wait till you unlock it in Classcraft. But today I want to show you about settings. So let's go into settings. And if you scroll down to notifications, I don't know about you, but you probably got a ton of emails from Google Classroom. And we got to shrink down how many you get, so you're only getting what's important. So if I or Miss Bird comment on your post, you want to see that. Comments that mention you or private comments, you definitely want those. But look at this one. Work and other posts from teachers, you don't need that one. Every time Miss Berg and I put in an assignment, you got an email. That's not top priority for you to get. Uh, return work, now that's important. You want work that we gave you feedback on so you can fix it and learn from it. Invitation to join classes, you don't need that notification turn on because if we need you to join a class, we'll tell you. And due date reminders for your work, now that's uh, important for Miss Berg probably. For me, it's different because I give you due dates so that the assignment is open for a long time, not because you have to wait to get it done. So if Ms. Berg's uh, due dates are important, keep this one on. So that's what you need to do to make sure you're getting only the alerts you need. But let's go one further. Oh, and by now, you should have already done everything you've seen. Remember, when you're watching a how-to video, you wanna watch, pause it, go do it, come back and continue. Otherwise, if you just sit and watch the whole thing, you may not pay attention, or even if you're paying attention, you might forget. So by now, you should have uh, done your email notifications for your Google Classroom classes. Because the next thing I want to show you is how to filter your emails. So I'm on my school Gmail account. And remember, whenever you're using your school computer, be on your student.csd49 account, especially for your email. Uh, so you can see here I got class invitations from all my classes and last year I got uh, when assignments were due. These are pretty good reminders. But I want to show you how to set some filters. So we're going to go to this gear icon, which is labeled settings, and we're going to click right here, see all settings. We're going to go to filters and blocked addresses, and you're going to create a new filter. So let's start a new one. And just type in AL to bring up Al Gonzalez at csd49.org and click on create a filter. Anytime you get an email from me, you should star it. Um, click on apply label and let's do a new label and you're going to call it teacher email. And I already have one, so I don't have to redo that. So I'm going to click on Apply Label, Teacher Email. That way you know it's an email from a teacher, and always mark it as important. You don't want to miss emails from Ms. Berg or myself. Um, so we're starting with me. We're going to create a filter. Okay, so there's filter from Al Gonzalez. Do this. Star it. Apply Label, Teacher Email. Mark it as important. So let's create another one for Ms. Berg. So start typing... G-R-E-T, look for Gretchen Berg at csd49.org, create filter, start it, apply the label teacher email, and always mark it important. All right, so make sure you're pausing and doing. Create a filter. So by now, you should have these two done. So I'm going to go back to inbox, and let's, let's test it. Pause it and do it. Otherwise, I'll be right back. And I'm back. And here we go. Look at this. I got an email from Mr. Gonzalez. It's starred, marked as important, labeled teacher email. So I can go to teacher email 
I can go to starred and whenever I see something under teacher email, I know, oh my goodness, it's my teacher. I better check. And look, Mr. Gonzalez is saying, hey, have you been doing your Alex topics each week for math homework? It's like, oh man, I better reply. So this is how you can stay on top of your emails. You can create a filter for anything, your parents. Uh, you can set a filter so that Google Classroom assignments go into a separate uh, label, and then you can just check your labels. You can see here, I've got new classroom assignments. Google Classroom created that one for me, so it's already set. That way you can uh, better use your inbox.